conversion of decimal fractions into decimal numbers decimal numbers consist of two parts in ellarkume theriyum one is whole number part or integral part other one is decimal part let's say 369.0471 so in the example la decimal point to the left eduthitingna which is called whole number part or integral part decimal point to the right eduthitingna which is called decimal part so 0471 idu vandu decimal part so decimal number consists of two parts one is whole number part or integral part other one is decimal part so center ka point vandu decimal point so idu vandu or decimal number so ini video la nama enna explain panna porom nu paathina decimal fractions koduthirundanga na adu eppadi decimal number ah convert panna porom nu explain panna porom so fractions vandu consist of two parts nu theriyum so top number vandu which is called numerator bottom paathina which is called denominator so inga vandu decimal fractions nu solrom so decimal fractions appdi paakumbodhu whose denominator eppadi irukku nu paathina powers of 10 so powers of 10 nu mudhu 10 raised to the power 1 10 raised to the power 2 10 raised to the power 3 so the power enna denote panudhu na base vandu ethana times repeat panna mudiyum so 1 nu mudhu base nu rendu mudhu 10 one time repeat panirukku inga 2 nu mudhu base vandu two times neenga repeat pannum 3 nu mudhu base vandu three times repeat pannum so inga neenga ellame paathina one followed by zeros da irukku inga paathina one followed by two zeros inga paathina one followed by three zeros so decimal fractions appadi nu mudhu whose denominator eppadi irukku nu paathina 10 or powers of 10 irukku denominator mattum so fractions ku decimal fractions ku difference paathukonga so decimal fractions appadi nu mudhu whose denominator is powers of 10 10 or powers of 10 irukku so powers of 10 nu mudhu eppadi irukku nu paathina one followed by zeros irukku so question paathina conversion of decimal fractions into decimal numbers so decimal fractions na nama sonna whose denominator vand 10 or powers of 10 inge paathina one followed by zero da irukke so inge vand idha vand or decimal number ah convert pannadhukku first step paathina ungala denominator adha ungala bottom number paathukonga adha vand one followed by zero so decimal fractions ah irukkan check pannite அப்படி இருக்கும்போது இத கன்வெர்ட் பண்றதுக்கான ஸ்டெப்ஸ் நீங்க பாத்தீன்னா எத்தனை ஜீரோ இருக்குன்னு கவுண்ட் பண்ணிக்கோ இங்க வந்து ஒரே ஒரு ஜீரோ இருக்கு சோ 1 ஜீரோ இருக்கு சோ ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஸ்டெப்பே நீங்க பாத்தீங்கன்னா உங்க டினோமினேட்டர்ல வந்து கவுண்ட் தி நம்பர் ஆஃப் ஜீரோஸ் இன் தி டினோமினேட்டர் இங்க ஒரே ஒரு ஜீரோ இருக்கு அத நாம கவுண்ட் பண்ணிட்டோம் சோ நெக்ஸ்ட் வந்து உங்க நியூமரேட்டர் எப்படி இருக்கும் as it is அதே மாதிரி எழுதிக்கோங்க சோ இங்க வந்து 3 சோ நாம இங்க 3 எழுதிருக்கோம் so denominator la ethana zeros irukko adhe maadhiri ungala numerator layum pathina athana steps vandu move panni decimal point vekkanum adha procedure inga 10 na one step vandu neenga move pannu numerator ku two zeros irundha two step vandu neenga move pannu andha steps dhaan inga vandu follow panna porom inga ore ore zero irukku so inga mele irukka number pathina three mattum dhaan irukku so three mattum irukkum bodhu neenga eppadi move pannu appdi pathina to the left vandu neenga move pannu inga ore zero irukkanaala ore place mattum move panninga inga irundhu inga move panni inga point vekkanum so inga point vechina enna aidu pathina 3 ku before or place mattum da move panirukom inga irukiradum pathina ore ore digit da irukku move panninga inga point 3 nu vandu mention panuvinga so this can be written as 0.3 so point 3 eludnalum seri 0.3 eludnalum okay so count the number of zeros in the denominator adhe mari athana steps vandu ungala numerator as it is eludittu inga vandu oru zero irundhathu ore ore digit mattum move panni nama enna panna move panni point vekkum decimal point so idha vandu 0.3 so conversion of decimal fractions irundhathu adhu oru decimal number ah vandu change panirukku so idu eppadi cross verify pannikalam appo pathinga inga ethana zero irundhathu oru zero irundhathu so vara decimal number la ethana decimal places count pannikalam so ethana decimal places appadina bodhu ungala decimal part mattum edukrom so point ku appra irukiradha pathina decimal part adha la ethana digits mattum inga irukku ore ore digit mattum irukku so inga vandu one decimal place irukku so one zero irukku adha mai cross verify pandradhukku decimal point ku appra ethana digit irukku one so one decimal place irukku which means ungala answer um correct so indha mari neenga cross verify pannikalam So second question pathina 3 by 100 so first step is solid no count the number of zeros in the denominator inga pathina 1 2 zeros irukku so 2 zeros irukku next step enna pannu nu pathina one numerator as it is eludhikonga inga eludhiyaachu so inga 2 zeros irukku na two places vandu to the left vandu shift pannu so inga adu first place shift pannitom inga adu second place shift pannitom second ku munnadi da inga point vaikkanum inga neenga note pannina இங்க ஒரு பிளேஸ் ஷிஃப்ட் பண்ணும்போது ஒரு டிஜிட் இருக்கு இங்க வந்து எந்த டிஜிட் மேல விஷ் மீன்ஸ் அங்க வந்து நீங்க என்ன ஆட் பண்ணனும் ஜீரோ
So, this answer is 0.03 or if you have to learn it, 0.03. So, the cross verify is the answer. 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 So, the cross verify is the decimal places. So, the decimal points are the decimal points. So, the decimal points are the decimal points. So, the decimal points are the decimal points. So, 1, 2. So, 2 decimal places. 2 zeros, 2 decimal places. Cross verify is the answer. So, next question. So, denominator. You have to count the number of zeros in the denominator. So, 1, 2, 3. So, in this step, you have to follow up on the decimal fractions. 1 followed by 0. So, 3 zeros. So, in the numerator, as it is, you have to count. So, 8, 5, 3, 0, 1. So, 3 zeros. So, 3 digits to the left one move on. So, you have to start with the units place. In the last ones place, you have to start with the units. So, 1 place move on. Then 2 plays move on, then 3 plays move on. 3 zeros are 3 plays move on, this is point. So, this is the answer for 85.301. So, this is the cross verify. You can count the decimal places. How do you count the decimal places? How do you count the decimal part? So, 1, 2, 3 digits. So, this is 3 decimal places. So, this is 3 zeros, 3 decimal places. So next question, 51 by 100, you need to count the number of zeros in the denominator. So, there are two zeros here. Next, you can see the numerator as it is. So, 51. Two places to the left one move on. So, left one is 1. Then, two places move on. Here is the point. Move on is point, decimal point. So, 0. 51 or 0.51. So, you can see the cross verify. How many decimal places in the decimal point? 1, 2. So, two decimal places. So, which means you are going to answer correct. So, in the final question, you are going to ask, this is a mixed fraction. This is the meaning of 15 plus 73 by 1000 meaning. So, normally you are going to do this 15 as it is. This is the fractional part. This is the whole number part. Plus, this is 73 by 1000. This is a decimal fraction. This is a decimal number. Now, we will explain it. So, we will explain it. So, numerator as it is, எல்திக்கோங்க, denominatorல் எத்தனை zeros இருக்கு? 1, 2, 3 zeros இருக்கு. So, which means, இதை வந்து உங்களும் numerator வந்து 3 places to the left வந்து shift பண்ணும் சொல் இருக்கும். So, 1, then 2, third place, அதுக்கு before தான் வந்து என்ன பண்ணும் point வைக்கும். So, in third placeல digit இல்லாதுனா என்ன பண்ணும் பார்த்துங்க, zero add பண்ணும் நம்ம சொல் இருக்கும். So, இதுவுட answer நீங்க பார்த்த 7, 3. So, the 0.073 correct time, you have to check how many zeros are, 3 zeros are. And how many decimal places are, decimal point is 1, 2, 3. So, 3 decimal places are. So, this is correct. So, next 15 plus 0.073, this is add to 15.073. This is the answer. So, mixed fraction is the whole number in the fraction, decimal fraction is the split point, plus port. Then, we will tell you that the decimal fraction to decimal number is convert, that is the step follow up and finally add. So, the conversion of decimal fractions into decimal numbers in the video will explain. Thank you so much for watching this video.